Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm gonna show you how to replace or upgrade the SSD in your Xbox Series S to a 1TB SSD and perform a clean install or clone of the original SSD. You'll need a USB drive, an M.2 to USB enclosure and a compatible 1TB M.2 20-30 SSD. I'll put links to all the stuff in the description below. So if you want to perform a clean install, make sure to install the latest updates on your console before you start disassembling it. Also, if you've participated in Xbox Insider program, you'll need to unenroll and wait for a new system update before continuing with this process. First, we need to download offline system updates. Open the Xbox support page, the link in the description, and simply follow these instructions. First of all, we need to download OC1 update. It's a 6GB file, and as I said before, you'll need a flash drive that's at least 8 gigs. And you need to format the drive into NTFS file system. After the download is complete, go to your downloads folder and extract the files from the archive. Open the OC1 folder and copy the system update folder to the root directory of your flash drive. Now we can safely remove the drive. Next, you need to disassemble your device and remove the SSD. By the way, you can install the original SSD into a compatible enclosure, like this one, and use it as a super fast and reliable USB drive. You can also put that SSD into a storage expansion card like this one. I'll put links in the description. Even though I keep calling this method clean install, well, it's sort of, because we still have to utilize the boot partition from the original SSD. This process differs from Xbox One X, where you can simply install system updates from a USB onto a new SSD or hard drive. So, first we need to extract the boot partition from the original SSD. Plug the SSD into the M.2 enclosure and connect it to your PC. I'm gonna use Macrim Reflect, which is a very powerful tool and it's free for a month. So these are my laptop's SSDs and here's our half terabyte external SSD with a bunch of partitions. Select it and click image this disk. Choose the first partition, then the destination folder, click the advanced options, Select Make an exact copy, click OK, Finish and OK. Once that's done, you can safely eject the drive. Next, I'm gonna plug in the 1TB SSD into the adapter and connect it to my computer. Let's go back to the Local Disks tab and click Refresh. Here's the new drive. Now go to the existing Backups tab, select the image file, click Restore, Next and finish. Eject the drive and reassemble your console. Now we can turn on the console and install the offline system updates. Once the troubleshooter screen appears, use the D pad and A button to select troubleshoot. Insert your flash drive into any available USB port. As you can see, the offline system update option became active. Select it and press the A button to start the update, which should take about 5 minutes. And that's it. Just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup process. Select your preferred language, location, your network, and sign in to your Microsoft account. Now let's check the drive capacity. Go to the settings, system, storage devices. As you can see, now we have 800 gigs of available capacity. Here's a comparison of the drive capacity before and after the upgrade. So, finally install your games, and once your console syncs with your Xbox account, all your game saves will be back. Now let's talk about SSD cloning. If you're cloning your SSD to another same size SSD or cloning with automatic partition resizing to a larger one, the process is pretty straightforward. But it can become a bit tricky if you choose to do it the right way and clone all partitions as is, and resize only the user content partition. So once again, put the original SSD into the enclosure, connect it to your PC, and run the Macrum Reflect. 
The imaging process is similar to what we did before, but this time we'll select all partitions instead of just one. Make sure you have enough space on your drive, because the image file will be about 500 gigs. Next, I'm gonna plug in the 1TB SSD into the adapter and connect it to my computer. Click on Refresh, then select the image file, click Restore, then choose a disk to restore to and click Copy Partitions. Ok, now we have an exact copy of the original half terabyte drive and as you can see we also have almost half terabyte of unallocated space. So what we need to do is extend the user content partition. To do that, we need to move this unallocated space to the right of this partition. Also, we need to leave 1 GB of unallocated space at the end of the drive. Select the last partition and click on Layout. Like I said before, we need to leave 1 GB of free space after this partition. Like so. Now we need to move these two partitions to the right. Select each one and click Float Right. Once that's done, we can extend this partition, but first I highly recommend adjusting the size of the temp content partition from 17 to 26 gigs. This corresponds to the size that 1TB SSD achieves after an offline system update. First move the user content partition to the right, then select the temp content partition and click on Layout. Modify its size to 26 gigs and press OK. Next, to allocate the free space, select this partition and click on Fill Space. Make sure that your partition layout appears as shown, and then click Next and Finish. The newly created disks will automatically open during the process, so just ignore them. Finally, reassemble your console. Here's a comparison of the drive capacity before and after the upgrade. I highly recommend the cloning method, but if the original SSD is partly faulty, then the clean install becomes the only option. Thank you for watching.